I was just watching a, in the middle of a documentary that I never heard of, but Be Behind Trees um, just told me to check it out. It's a Pitchfork documentary about Modest Mouse, Lonesome Crowded West. It's really amazing and just makes me thankful that the internet exists, to be able to like find out about stuff like this and the, how people can share stuff now. It's just crazy. And it's weird for me to watch this old Modest Mouse this documentary because I, um, I totally remember that time period and it's just weird to see it. So one of the songs, they actually do Dramamine and then they were doing Trailer Trash. And um, it's weird too because I remember when this music was coming out, there wasn't really tabs. And like, it was just a lot harder like to figure stuff out. Like, it was just different than it is now. So anyways, I just looked up a tab for it. And it seems pretty accurate. There's a few parts I'm definitely disagreeing with. This is this tab got five stars. So some parts just don't sound right. When I watched a video of Isaac playing it live, and he's definitely doing like the main part. You go a tenth fret. You can see him live. He has his thumb here. He's doing this little major shape. It's one thing I was weird about Moss Mouse how many major shapes they used. Like. It's kind of like punk music, but it was like kind of like emo punk. Like I say that in a good way, like when it came out. Like because they use a lot of major stuff and like more melodic, and same with Built to Spill. But so this is G major on 10th fret. Oh yeah, make sure you pull up this tab. So the intro on the tab is definitely seems right, sounds right. G major. We slide down to D major, so the same shape, five four. Then you go to C5, and you can see Isaac doing it live, he like has his thumb up here, it looks kind of funky. And then C, it's just this shape, but they do hit, it's kind of like they play this song sloppy, so they hit this open string, you can see it in the tab, you can hear that the first time through. I don't think that was intentional, it just like happened. So the song's kind of sloppy, like, if you watch the documentary, like I'll put a link to it, like, they talk about that. They just go in the studio and just play it live. So, like, Moss Mouse didn't always like make their songs super polished. So G major, D, C five. So that's the intro. my ear, that background riff, I never actually learned this. Um, first, when I used to, because I used to figure stuff out, it was just a lot harder, like I was saying. So there's a little G, so this is 12, 12, 15. And you got this little D major, 11, 10, 10. And then you go to C major, 9, 8, 8. So that's G major, it's the same chords, G, D, C, and they stay on C twice, this is C, C, so it's just doing the same thing up high. And the next part is where I disagree, it says to do harmonics like this. That just doesn't sound right at all. What I hear is... I hear that instead. I mean, unless they're bending these, but that makes no sense to me. I hear 12 on D harmonic, and then 12 on G, and then 12 on B, and then down to D. And you kind of hear like just... It's kind of hard to tell what's happening on these parts. They have a lot of harmonics and kind of noise. It's like barely doing that because there's a lot of noise. So you could just keep playing the chords if you just wanted to play the song. Um, like during these parts, or you can try to kind of make some noise. But if you're singing it, you'd want to just like play the chords. 
And then something else they're doing a lot of, I noticed, is going like... So 12th fret. And that echoes the chords. You could do it like that, it's not what they're doing, but you could play G here. If you're playing solo, you could play it like that. Kind of get the G with your pinky. Oops, don't hit that top one, it sounds bad. thing in this tab is near the end the solo because they have kind of a jam solo I haven't seen tabbed out anywhere so I mean just noodling around you can get some of those notes but the last part I'll just play it along with it because I have it right in the solo but just to make sure I do it right I wish there were more lessons for all this stuff on YouTube Kind of wish my last mouse came out now with the internet. So the last part, it really sounds like built to spill, kind of this last part. Most mouse like built built to spill. So there's like jam solo, and then you actually hear this more distinct. <laughs> Pentatonic solo, they're using some notes from the major scale. So, they're going that part that's distinct. when they came out was all this major. Like all that major sh use of the major shape. So that's it. That's the best I can do off listening to it. But I just wanted to share that. And hopefully people who find these Modest Mouse videos, if you're into Modest Mouse, should like maybe not think that I'm doing it that great. 
which is fine, and then just make a better lesson. It'd be cool if more Modest Mouse stuff came came out. I've been doing Joy Division stuff too, because I think it'd be cool if there was more Joy Division stuff on YouTube. And Slint, I really like Slint, and they're really hard to figure out how to play their songs. I'm sure there's some older guys, because they were a little bit before. Like, Modest Mouse was right when I was, like, at that age where you really get into bands. So they were, like, my band I was into, just listening to. I didn't play that much guitar, but Slint was a little bit before that. But Slint, I can totally hear how they influenced, like, a lot of the bands I got into. So I'd really like to know their songs, but I can't find good tabs, and there's no videos. So it'd be pretty sweet if some people put up, like, shared their knowledge about how to play some of those songs. Um, so anyways, that's it. Hope that was helpful. Bye.